we have now come to the point where we can start adding objects into our floor plan, basically furnishing the layout. And you'll see that I'm now standing in the object tab. So that's blue. And we see the different assortments, manufacturers, uh, standard objects that I have in my version. And I'm running an administrative version, so I have both, in this case, fitness and automotive products. To scroll down the list, you use the sidebar here, and press down left mouse and move your mouse downwards, and you can see all the different libraries that I have. Uh, generic libraries that we provide are marked in blue. So in this case, I have the automotive, standard repair shop and standard in this case. Real manufacturers are marked in black and they go in alphabetical order. So you have the manufacturer name, the house icon will take you to the website of the company. And if I have yet to download the equipment or the models, or I have an update available, then you see this green icon and you click on it and it will make the update or download the entire library if you don't have it at all. Um, let's scroll down and we'll just do a diff couple different ones. Uh, I'm going to add a product. So we'll go in this case into Hunter and Tire Changers and we see a list of their tire changers. And then this course I'm not making any specific planning I'm just showing you how to add objects to your floor plan so I'm gonna hold down my left mouse button over one of the thumbnails that I would like to add and I drag it out into the floor plan just like this and if we can click on the outside and deactivate it you'll see what the icon looks like and I can move it along wherever I want in the floor plan by holding down my left mouse button I can rotate it by placing my mouse over the two arrows in the middle and pressing down on my left mouse button and moving my mouse at the same time. So then I can rotate it. And a lot of the equipment also have a color option. And if there is a color option, you'll see that in the object properties. And in this case, I can choose between black or red. Take a step backwards. We'll add a balancer from Hunter as well. Hold down left mouse button, drag it into the floor plan, rotate if you want to rotate and position it where you would want it to be. In 3D you'll see what it looks like right there. So I've dragged all those two pieces of equipment in my 2D and in 3D we'll see the result. And we're back in 2D and we'll add some other equipment or objects into the floor plan. And let's do, in this case, standard indoor libraries. And let's just add a reception desk. So we'll drag it out into the floor plan, rotate where I want it to be, and position. And if I click on this one, you'll see that we have the object color option. And let's do red. And in 3D, right there. So as mentioned, I'm not doing any specific planning. I'm just showing you how it works to drag out object into the floor plan. So one final time, let's just add a plant next to the reception desk. Here we go. I have a list of different plants. Hold down left mouse button, drag it into the floor plan wherever you want it to be. There is a trick also here if you would like to duplicate. And the way you can do it is either use the duplicator tool, which is very similar to the gap feature I showed you before. The difference is in this case, it's CC measurement. And let's add one simply to the left there, one meter and position it. If we go back in and in 3D, it looks like this. The two plants are next to the reception desk.